Hello everyone, this is Anamika. In this video, we will be starting with a new topic and that is the Indian culture. Indian culture is very important uh, if we talk about UPSC examinations. So uh, many questions may come from the Indian culture. Uh, Indian culture has been divided into various subcategories and topics. So uh, in the series of uh, videos I will be providing you under the topic of the Indian culture, we will be dealing with the different aspects of the Indian culture and we will be dealing with each and every topic. Indian culture is a very vast topic and many aspects and many factors and many uh, categories and topics we will be finding in this Indian culture. So in this particular video uh, we will be starting with the Indian dances. Before starting with the Indian dances, I want to explain few things related to the Indian dances. Though uh, the Indian dances is being classified in major categories, like you will be finding in one of my uh, slide, I will be classifying the Indian dances. But if we talk about the Indian classical dances, the main source of the Indian classical dances is Natya Shastra. It's then, it is an oldest text on performing arts. So all our Indian classical dances, it uh, finds its source in this particular text. It was being written in Sanskrit and was written by Bharat Muni. It consists of 36 chapters and 6000 poetic verses on performing arts. And it is based on Rasa theory, means the theory of enchanting the audience. The next important source is Natya Veda. It was created from Natya Shastra, which we already uh, read about in the previous slide. It is the fifth Veda and it is believed that it was being created by Lord Brahma. Few certain things have been taken from the various Vedas we already have. The intellectual content was taken from the Rig Veda that could be sung. The music that is Gaan was taken from the Sama Veda, the Abhinaya, the mimetic art was taken from Yajur Veda and the Rasas, the emotional content was taken from the Atharva Veda. The Indian dances, it is being classified into classical, regional and contemporary. Contemporary we will not read or not, neither we will study because this is not so important for our UPSC preparation. Our main focus will be on the classical and the regional one. So the sources of the Indian classical dances we already have seen in the previous slides that is Natya Shastra and Natya Veda. So in this particular video we will be doing the Indian classical dances. The Indian classical dances. The major Indian classical dances are eight in number. The Sangeet Natak Academy, which is a very important organization, recognizes eight dances as the classical dances. Which are those classical dances? They are Bharat Natyam. It is from the state of Tamil Nadu. Kathak from Uttar Pradesh and Western India. Kuchipudi from Andhra Pradesh. Odissi from Orisha. Kathakali from Kerala. Satriya from Assam. Manipuri from Manipur. Mohini Attam from Kerala. But the Cultural Ministry of the Government of India has an added another dance in their classical list and it is none other than Chao. Chao belongs from three states. The three states are West Bengal, Orisha and Jharkhand. Uh, why we will be doing the Sangeet Natak Academy and the Cultural Ministry of the Government of India? Because questions may come from the various ministries of the government, from the various academies, associations and the organizations run by the government. So, little bit of information is very much needed to be known. In this particular video, I will be doing five Indian classical dances. And in the next video, I will be continuing with the remaining classical dances. So here we will be starting with the most prominent Indian classical dances and that is Bharat Natyam. So we already have uh, seen in the previous slide that it originated in the state of Tamil Nadu. 
Traditionally, it had a solo female dancer, but now along with solo, it has become a group dance, and it is associated with the Dev Dasa system that flourished during the temples in the ancient period. This dance is being accompanied by musicians with one or more singers. The sources of this dance is Natya Shastra and Abhinaya Darpana. This particular dance it depicts the stories from various Hindu Vedic scriptures, the Mahabharat, the Ramayan, the Puranas, and the historic drama texts. This dance it follows three categories of Nritya, Nritya, and Natyam. These three categories are very important, and most of the Indian classical dances they follow these three categories. What is Nritya? Nritya is pure dance, means the whole dance depicts the pure form of the dance. Nritya, along with this pure form of dance, it depicts story with expressions. And what is Natyam? It is a play with team performance. Just remember one thing: all these three categories are part of a particular dance. So, every each and every category it represents each and every aspect of a particular dance. Bharat Natyam has fifty-five four. Uh, Bharat Natyam has fifty-five root mudras, both hand and finger gestures, and it is being further subdivided into Asamyukta Hasta. And Samyukta Hasta. Now let us know something about the costume. We have seen so many dancers wearing different colorful costumes while performing the dance. The Bharatanatyam dancers they normally wear Tamil silk sari with a special pleat in front like a hand fan, and the male dancers they wear dhoti, and the jewelry they wear is of gold with a veniya gajra tied up in a hair. And the most prominent of everything is the ghungru, which is tied onto the feet. And the dance is accompanied with various instruments. What are the instruments? Mridangam, Nadaswaram, Nattuvangam, the flute, violin, and veena. And the music style that accompanies this dance is the Carnatic music. More about the music we will be doing in the coming videos. The exponents of this dance. Our Rukmini Devi Arundel. She is considered a most prominent dancer because she played a very important role in mainstreaming this dance. After the Britishers, they had banned the temple dance. Next is Padma Subramaniam, Yamini Krishna Murthy, Mrinalini Sarabhai, Mallika Sarabhai, and Alarmel Valli. The next important classical dance is Kathak. It originated in northern India and it started in the Mughal courts. It is attributed to the traveling Kathakars or the storytellers. Kathakars means the Katha, which means story. Kathaka means one who tells a story. So the dance is associated with the whole concept of storytelling. The Kathak dance has in it all the classical elements such as nritya, nritya, and natya, which we already have studied in the previous slide. The facial expression is most important in this dance, and with the help of these facial expressions, the dancer they tell the stories along with the hand movements and footwork. Kathak. Mostly depicts the stories related to the life of Lord Krishna, especially the Ras Lila. It takes its musical and lyrical form from the Bhakti movement. Costume. There are two variations of the Hindu costume: a sari worn with a choli that covers the upper part, and an only. And the second variation is a long full skirt with a different color choli, and an only. The male dancers they wear silk dhoti with a silk only tied to the top. This is the Hindu variation. While the Muslim variation, the Muslim costume is a skirt, including close-fitting churida with a long coat covering the hands and the upper body, and a noni. They wear light gold jewelry along with ghungrus, which is very important part of any dance. And the instruments that are used is tabla, harmonium, and banjira. 
The music style that accompanies Kathak is Thumri, Bhajan and Dadra. Kathak has three distinct gharanas or styles and each and every gharana has its own distinct style. The three major uh, gharanas are the Jaipur, the Lucknow and the Banaras. Jaipur focuses on the foot movements. The originator is Bhanuji and Bhanuji's grandsons Laluji and Kanhauji together they began the Jaipur Kharana of Kathak. And in the modern era, Jailal, Janki Prasad, Kundalal, Mohanlal and Naval Kishore are the exponents. The Lucknow Kharana focuses on the facial expressions along with the hand movements. The originator is a rural Krishna devotee named Ishwari. And in the modern era, the exponents are Shambhu Maharaj, Birju Maharaj and Lachu Maharaj. The Banaras Gharana. It focuses on facial expressions with hand movements. And it is considered to be the oldest. Originator is Janaki Prasad. Dulha Ram, Chunni Lal, Maharaja Krishna Kumar, Sitara Devi are the major exponents of the Banaras Gharana. The next important classical dance is Kuchipudi. It originated in the Krishna district of Andhra Pradesh. Kuchipudi is very much similar to the Bharatnatyam dance of Tamil Nadu. Its main source is Natya Shastra. Well, the originator here we will talk about is Titha Narayan Yatti and his disciple Siddhendra Yogi. They founded this modern version of Kuchipudi. Kuchipudi like Bharatnatyam is performed in two forms as a solo dance and as a dance drama but it mainly depicts the life of Lord Krishna especially the form followed by the Vaishnavids. Initially it was performed by male dancers but later the female dancers joined in. Similarly to other classical dances it also follows the three categories of Nritya, Nritya and Natyam. It is accompanied by the Carnatic music with recital in Telugu language because it belongs to the state of Andhra Pradesh. The musical instruments that are being used are cymbals, mridangam, violin, thamburi and flute. The costume, it's a silk sari with a pleated flan in front and male dancers, they wear dhoti. The whole costume is similar to the costume being worn by the Bharatnatyam dancer. The jewelry they wear is of gold along with ghunguru. Kuchipudi dance has two regional styles, the Margi and the Deshi. The exponents are Nataraj, Ramakrishna, Guru Jairam Rao, Vimpati Chinna Satyam and Raja and Radha Reddy. The next prominent classical dance is Odissi. It originated in the Hindu temples of Orisha. The main source is Natya Shastra and the Abhinaya Darpana. It depicts the stories of Lord Jagannath, Lord Shiva, Lord Surya and Hindu goddesses. The traditional odyssey exists in three major styles. The Maharis, that is a spiritual temple dance done by the Devdasis. Gotipuas, that is the dance being performed by boys dressed as a girl. And next is Nartaki, that used to take place in the royal courts. It also follow the three categories of Nritya, Nritya and Natyam along with Moksha. What is Moksha? It is a pure dance of Odyssey. The music that accompanies the Odyssey dance is both Hindustani and Carnatic. There are three major dance positions in the Odyssey dance that is Sambhanga, Abhanga and Tribhanga. There are 63 mudras which are further subdivided into Asamyukta Hasta, Samyukta Hasta and Rutya Hasta. The costume of the Odyssey dance is a sari which is normally a patta sari or a sambalpuri sari or a bomkai sari with a pleated fan in front. The male dancers they wear dhoti with or without a thin scarf tied as a belt. The jewelry they wear is of silver. The instruments that is being used are the mardala, harmonium, flute, sita, violin and cymbals. The exponents of this dance are Kelucharan Mahapatra, Gangadhar Pradhan and Sonal Mansing. Kathakali It originated in the state of Kerala. 
Its source is Natya Shastra. Kathakali, the name itself means Katha, which means story, and Kali means Kala. And Kathakali means story play. The themes are mainly from folk mythologies and the Hindu epics. The uniqueness of this dance lies in its headgear and the costume and the makeup which is very much unique and which makes it quite different from the rest of the Indian classical dances as you can see from the photo. The characters are grouped under certain clearly defined types like Pacha, Kathi, Thadi, Kari or Minukku. A mixture of rice paste and lime is applied to make the chutti on the face which highlights the facial makeup. In this slide we will see the meanings of this particular terms. What is Pacha? Pacha here the green color dominates and it refers to the noble characters, the good characters of the Hindu epic stories. Kathi it depicts the anti-heroes. Thadi, Thadi means beard. There are three types of beards as Thadi Veshams, Vella Thadi or White Beard for superhuman monkeys like Hanuman, Chovana Thadi or Red Beard meant for evil characters and Karutha Thadi or Black Beard for the hunter. The next is Kari. Here the black color dominates. So it refers to the forest dwellers, hunters and the middle ground characters. Demonesses and treacherous characters are also painted black. Next is Minukku. It refers to the female characters and sages. So different costumes, different makeup suggest different characters in the Kathakali dance. What is Kirita? Kirita is the headgear worn by the dancers. It is the most prominent part of the whole getup of the Kathakali dancers. Kathakali music follows the traditional Sopana Sangeet of Kerala along with the Carnatic music. There are about 24 mudras that are being used in the Kathakali dance. The musical instruments used are Chenda, Madalam, Chengila, Hatalam, Idakka and Shanku. Chakyar Kottu, Kodiattam, Krishnattam, Ramanattam are the few ritual performing arts of Kerala which have had a direct influence on Kathakali. The major exponents of this dance are Kalamandalam Gopi, Kalamandalam Ramankutti Nair. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel Shain Sharma's classes. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more videos and updates. Thank you.